Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Yes, back for something. This is the first. This is the first. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to be going to watch Top Gun Maverick for the second time. There is a distinct difference. I'm watching it in IMAX and this is my first ever IMAX movie. Yeah, I know. Never seen a film in the cinema in IMAX before. We've never had an IMAX close to me so we've always had to go like what 70 to 80 miles to get one but um i've always been happy with everything that i've seen in view because the two screens screens one and ten at my local view are absolutely humongous uh, and we have dolby atmos and everything so i've never really needed to but um here in cineworld ashford they've got a few new screens that have opened up They've got a purposely built IMAX. It's time to check it out. It's a weekday. It doesn't look like they've got many people in there, probably about 10 people. So uh, it's definitely worth to check it out now rather than in the school holidays. So in a minute, I'm going to go and uh, show you around and we'll go in and get the ticket, which apparently is about £20. I told my dad, I said, Dad, do you want to come and see Top Gun Maverick? He goes, I've already seen it. Well, you go and see it at the IMAX, twenty pounds. Twenty pounds? Oh God! You know what they can do with that? Because <laughs> we only uh, we only pay four pound ninety nine to go and see uh, a film at our view. But uh, it's definitely worth doing it for an experience, whether or not it lives up to everybody's mutterings. You know, I might come out of there and think IMAX overrated, or I might be totally blown away what by it. So we're going to go and have a look in a minute. Uh, first of all, because I've got a little bit of time, hang on, let me just push this up a little bit because I think the brightness on this, it's come overcast. So let me just brighten it up a little bit, just a little bit. There we go, that'll do. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna give you a little bit of history of my cinema going. This will probably bore you to tears, uh, but it might be interesting. So back in the day, uh, we had a cinema in Dover called the ABC. That's where I saw all my films you know, Empire Strikes Back, all the big films that came out in the 80s. Then we had the introduction of VHS, and everybody was watching films at home on their video machines, and cinemas started closing down, the attendance went down, and our ABC closed, and it was closed ever since. Um, now, we never really had another cinema in Dover after that for a couple of years. We have something called the Silver Screen, which has got about 40 seats in it and my my uh projector screen at home is bigger than the screen in there so it's not really worth going it's not really worth going although they do give you a cup of tea in a china cup so that's that's a good thing yeah so we never really had anything we always had to go outside of dover uh for many years in the 90s me and mama bowman went to canterbury to the odeon there they got two screens uh, we always went to films, you know, uh, there was a Safeway restaurant, uh, a supermarket, sorry, just across the road. We went in, we got our yogurt and chocolate coated peanuts and we went back in um, to see the films. And we, we used the Odeon for a long time. Then we discovered there was a Virgin um, multiplex at Rochester, which is actually now a Cineworld, world. But back then it was a Virgin it meant travelling about 50 to 60 miles every time we wanted to go and see a film, but it was our place to go. We loved going to it, even though it was a bit of a journey. And that kept on going through the 2000s. Uh, the early, well, the 90s. That was the 90s, maybe, uh, yeah, uh, right to the end of the 90s. And then we had a big multiplex built here in Ashford, Cineworld. I think it's a 12 screen, either a 10 or a 12 screen. And the first film I saw was The Phantom Menace in 99. And that was it. That was our place to go. It was like literally 20 to 25 minutes up the road from me. We'd go in, watch films. Um, they then introduced the Cineworld card, which, you know, made it uh, a lot cheaper. Um, then we discovered View down Westwood Cross and we thought, that's it. You know, this Cineworld couldn't compete with View. Because over the years, they never really updated this cine world here in Ashford. You know, the seats were getting tired. The floors were tearing. You know, the carpet looked grubby. And it just it just wasn't classy to go to. Uh, but our view has been the cinema. And still is, really. 
right up until tonight, today, uh, Papa Bowman prefers going to the view. Uh, most of the time I do as well because of the, the sound and the picture quality and the easiness of, uh, of getting to it. Uh, of course, we then had Cineworld built in Dover, our first major cinema since the 80s. Uh, we got a six screen cinema, which I do go to. I do have an unlimited card, which I go there and if there's a film I want to watch. The only thing is, they don't normally do films until two o'clock in the afternoon on weekdays. You know, during the school holidays, it's okay because they do early films. But if you want to go and see a film on a weekday while the kids are at school, they usually don't start until about two in the afternoon, which can be a bit of a problem because um, I like to go earlier than that. Uh, but uh, that's basically it. And then recently, over the last year or so, or two years actually, just before the pandemic, it, it was stated that Ashford will be getting an IMAX. Um, and we all thought, yeah, whatever. Uh, and it was going through all the red tape and then there was delays. And then of course we had the pandemic, so it got half built. You know, the, the, the structure, the frame structure was there, which I showed you in one of my videos. Um, and here we are now. Uh, it opened a couple of months ago and um, it's my first experience. So I'm gonna go and test it out. Um, they also have a Screen X which I want to test at some point, which is the one where you have the screen at the front and you have the screens down the side as well. They also have a 4DX, which I was really tempted to try that with Top Gun. Uh, unfortunately, I found out that there is a weight limit on the seats of 13 stone. So that's me out of that. That's me out of luck on that. But it looked good, but it, it looked a bit all on the neck and on the back. So I'm not sure. So... Stick down in the comments if you've had experiences of the 4DX and uh, if you weigh more than 13 stone because I don't want to go in there and break a chair. <laughs> but anyway, we are here now. So I'm going to pop in in a minute, show you around a little bit, get my ticket and um, try the IMAX for the first time. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are. So as you can see, there's the IMAX. Let me zoom in a bit for you. Behind Pizza Hut. So yeah, that was just a, a metal structure at one point. Um, the main building has stayed the same, but uh, as I say, they've introduced 4DX and Screen X. And uh, hopefully it looks quite different inside than it used to, because it was very tired inside and very old, like an old 80s flea pit. But anyway, let's go in and uh, let's have a look. I can't believe I'm going to an IMAX movie. This is really exciting. I can't wait. Plus they also have a Starbucks restaurant. That was never here before. So that's pretty good. And this whole front has all been redesigned and rebuilt. Yeah, they never had like these double doors in here before. Oh my God. That is so different than how I remembered it. Oh my God, it never looked like this. Oh, hello, look, we've got some, we've got some Top Gun posters. Oh, I might grab one of those. This is incredible. This was just all boring old carpet. This is fantastic. Oh my God. Okay, oh my God, this is so different. I think this is type, like the type of car, oh jeez. Oh my God, holy crap. This is like a brand new, oh my God. I'm gonna talk about this when I get out, but oh my God. Oh, I can smell nice fresh carpet. Jesus, okie dokie, so IMAX 4DX. It looks like we have a little waiting area as well. Oh my God. This is, this is seriously incredible. It bears no resemblance to the 
Cinema World that I used to come to with Mama Bowman. Okay, let's see if we can go find our seat. Okay, so I'm in J12 IMAX 6 1 to 16. Holy shit. My God. That was an experience and a half. Firstly, the cinema, it never looked like that back in the day. I'll try and dig up a couple of pictures off the internet and plaster them over here so you can see what it used to look like. But holy shit, they've put some work into that. Okay, so walking through the foyer, which has got the lovely kind of like marbly type of floor, nice reflective shiny floor like the Dover's has. That had a shit old carpet last time. Everything is beautiful. There's a Starbucks restaurant inside the cinema. You can sit down and have a Starbucks before the film starts. Holy shit. I think there's a couple of other restaurants in there as well. Walking down the corridor, walking down the aisle, there's another big seating area where the 4DEX and the IMAX is. Looks stunning. It looks stunning. You can see in the video, it looks absolutely stunning. When those doors open, when I walked through those doors, the first thing I could see was white, the, the bottom of the screen. And it just went up, and it went up, and it went up. And I was craning my head back like that to try and find the top of the screen. And then I turned the corner, holy shit, those seating. Steeper than I'm used to at, at screens. I mean, I was halfway up in the middle, so probably the best location. Um, seats were a little narrower than view, but not uncomfortable. So even a person of my size, it didn't squash me. It wouldn't be nice to have recliners. <laughs> uh, the good thing is my Cineworld card, I'm, I think I'm in group two, which is Dover. But you can't use that card for this cinema because I think this comes under Group 3, so it won't let you book it unless you upgrade your card and pay more a month. Uh, for the amount of times that I'll probably be coming here, it's not going to be every single month. But I did ask the guy, because I was expecting to pay 20 quid, which is, I think it was £19.69 or something. 
and I said I've got a Sin the World card, a Dover one. He says, that's perfectly fine. You'll just need to pay like an uplift fee. Um, and it cost me, what was it, £6? I think it was £6.70 to go and watch Top Gun Maverick in IMAX. £6.70. It was way better than the 20 quid I thought it was going to cost. And I thought, oh, I just I bought some drinking ale, bought some Maltesers. The whole thing come to £11, which is a nothing. It's nothing. But, oh, my God. Uh, the screen is absolutely humongous. I must admit, though, um, the whole of the film wasn't in IMAX. You know, I think it was just the, it was the airborne scenes, the action scenes that were in IMAX. So the, the length of the screen, or the width rather, I would say the width is about the same width as the big screen at view, but it's when it pulls it up and you get that full IMAX. It's just, it's the whole of your glasses. It's, it's just, it's just there. The whole of it, it is massive. Absolutely massive. <sighs> wow. Totally blown away. Totally blown away. One of the most sensory experiences I've ever had in a cinema. Had a good audience. We were all kind of like huddled around the middle area. And, she, oh my God, I can't even describe the sound. The bass was ridiculous. The loudness, although not ear piercing, it's like going to a concert that loud when the planes come over and my first experience of exactly how loud that was was when Ed Harris was standing there by the hut and Tom Cruise flew over towards the camera Jesus I thought my ears were gonna explode uh, and as for the battle scenes at the end I don't know what happened to my ass I'm sure it shot out of, the, out of my backside <laughs> <laughs> There's a, it's kind of like it was pressure the sheer amount of pressure that you was getting bombarded with from bass and uh, and treble and uh and the dialogue was fantastic the dialogue you could even on the loudest of scenes you could hear every single word of the dialogue what it's just mind blowing i'm still kind of like a little bit jittery because of the experience and this is just 20 miles up from me, so. Wow, yes. Oh, by the way, I did get a couple of posters. A couple of lovely Top Gun Maverick posters for Screen X. So maybe if the film's still on or some other film's on, I'll go, I'll try the Screen X. Now, I did ask the bloke while I was in there about the 4DX because I heard that there was a weight limit. Um... 4DX is kind of like divided into platforms. I think you have about four chairs per, per platform or a certain amount of chairs per platform. And they base the weightage on 13 stone per person to make up the whole weight capability of that whole platform, the moving platform, the moving platform. <laughs> um, he says it's just a guide. So... If you've only got two people or three people or just yourself, he says, don't worry about it. Absolutely don't worry about it. Uh, it's more than capable of handling even the largest elephant. <laughs> That's just as well then, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That was an absolute experience. <sighs> wow. I think Jurassic World is going to be brilliant in there. But I do want to try the other screen X and I do want to try the 4DX now that they put that to, the, you know, he's explained how it works. But yeah, that was just a hell of an experience. Um, I'm glad we've got a an IMAX this close to my town. It's literally 25 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes up the motorway. I'm, I'm spoiled for choice now. I've got this massive multiplex, beautifully done inside. The, the outside, the right, uh, the right side of the outside still looks like the outside from 1999. It's just the, the new 
face on the front of it and the IMAX and what it looks like inside is just wow. I never expected it to look like that inside. Yeah, so I've got that. I've got a six screen cinema in Dover, Cineworld, and I've got a 12 screen screen then view. So I'm sport for choice. Uh, and it's all cheap. It's so cheap. £4.99 any film, then view. £6.70 for an IMAX seat. Jesus. Uh, and my Cineworld is free because I use the unlimited card. And I remember back in the day going to the Odeon, Leicester Square. I think even now I looked on online, the Odeon, Leicester Square, I think, if you want the like, Royal Circle, is it, or the Royal Balcony, it's about £40 a person. I think that's just to get the foreigners. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that is a fantastic experience. So... I can't go, I could go on about it, but I don't want to bore anybody. But that is my first experience of a, a major motion picture in an IMAX screen. Like I say, I have never seen a film in IMAX before. The only film I saw was Mission Space or M Mission to Mars or something. It's Kennedy Space Center in the early 90s. That's my only experience of an IMAX. So, yeah, so fantastic so i hope you enjoyed the video like it by giving it some thumbs up <laughs> don't forget to subscribe comment and share and i'll leave you with this last thought holy shit where's my bum because i think it blew out the back of the chair <laughs> Till the next video. Bye-bye.